Ever wondered about the mysteries of your own health? What if there were signs your body was trying to tell you something important? Picture this, unexplained swelling, difficulty swallowing, and a mysterious lump. What could it mean? Join us on a journey where answers unfold, and the unknown becomes clear. Have you or someone you know experienced these peculiar symptoms? What if I told you there's a story waiting to be shared, filled with twists and turns? Stay tuned, as we delve into a narrative that explores health, resilience, and the power of understanding. Are you ready to uncover the secrets your body might be hiding? The journey begins soon, don't miss out on the chance to unravel the suspense. Sophia, a call center manager, began to feel a bit off. She noticed an unusual swelling in the front of her neck and started experiencing discomfort. It felt awkward, and soon she began having trouble swallowing and breathing. On top of that, her voice became hoarse, and she felt pain in her neck. Concerned about these symptoms, Sophia decided it was time to see her local general practitioner, GP. Her GP, after examining her, thought it best to refer Sophia to an endocrinologist, a specialist who deals with hormone-related issues, including those involving the thyroid. Nervously, Sophia went to the endocrinologist's office, wondering what could be causing these unsettling symptoms. The endocrinologist conducted a series of investigations, which included blood tests, ultrasound imaging, and a fine needle biopsy to get a closer look at what might be going on with Sophia's thyroid. Waiting for the results felt like an eternity for Sophia, as she couldn't shake off the fear of the unknown. Finally, the endocrinologist sat down with Sophia to discuss the findings. With a kind and reassuring tone, the expert explained that Sophia indeed had a thyroid nodule. The news was a relief, but Sophia's anxiety lingered as she worried about the possibility of it being cancer. Understanding Sophia's concerns, the endocrinologist took the time to explain. What are thyroid nodules? A thyroid nodule is an unusual lump, growth, of cells on your thyroid gland. Your thyroid gland is a small, butterfly-shaped endocrine gland located in your neck, below your Adam's apple. It produces the hormones thyroxine, also called T4, and triiodothyronine, also called T3. These hormones play a role in certain bodily functions, including metabolism, body temperature, mood and excitability, pulse and heart rate, and digestion. Thyroid nodules are classified as solitary, a single nodule, multiple, more than one nodule, cystic, fluid-filled, or solid. More than 90% of detected nodules in adults are non-cancerous, benign but they may represent thyroid cancer in approximately 4.0% to 6.5% of cases. Even though most thyroid nodules aren't cancer, they can sometimes be a sign of and or cause thyroid disease. Who do thyroid nodules affect? Anyone can have a thyroid nodule, including children and adults. However, they're about four times more common female than male. They also occur more often in people who live in countries in which food isn't fortified with iodine. Other factors that lead to an increased risk of thyroid nodules include history of thyroid radiation, family history of thyroid nodules or thyroid cancer, increasing age, iron deficiency anemia, smoking, obesity, metabolic syndrome, alcohol consumption, increased levels of insulin-like growth factor 1, a hormone, and uterine fibroids. How common are thyroid nodules? thyroid nodules are common. Healthcare providers detect them in approximately 5% to 7% of adults during a physical examination. Ultrasound imaging reveals that 20% to 76% of adults have thyroid nodules. Thyroid nodules are less common in children. When should I worry about thyroid nodules? In most cases, thyroid nodules aren't a cause for concern. But even though the vast majority of thyroid nodules are benign, some thyroid nodules do contain thyroid cancer. For this reason, you should see your healthcare provider so they can evaluate the nodule to be sure it's benign. As with all cases of cancer, the earlier it can be diagnosed and treated, the better. What symptoms can thyroid nodules cause? Most thyroid nodules don't cause symptoms. However, if you have several nodules or large nodules, you may be able to see them. 
In rare cases, nodules can grow big enough to cause the following symptoms. Trouble with swallowing or breathing, hoarseness or voice changes, pain in the front of your neck, enlargement of your thyroid gland, goiter. Hyperfunctioning thyroid nodules can lead to overproduction of thyroid hormones, also known as hyperthyroidism. Symptoms of hyperthyroidism include rapid heartbeat, palpitations, feeling shaky and or nervous, weight loss, increased appetite, diarrhea and more frequent bowel movements, difficulty sleeping, enlarged thyroid gland, goiter, light or missed menstrual periods. Thyroid nodules may also be associated with low thyroid hormone levels, hypothyroidism. Symptoms of hypothyroidism include fatigue, numbness and tingling in your hands, weight gain, dry, coarse skin and hair, constipation, depression, frequent, heavy menstrual periods. What causes thyroid nodules? Researchers don't know why most thyroid nodules form. Nodules can form for various reasons, and there are different types, including colloid nodules, thyroid cysts, inflammatory nodules, multinodular goiter, hyperfunctioning thyroid nodules, and thyroid cancer. How are thyroid nodules diagnosed? Sometimes you can feel or see a thyroid nodule yourself, or your healthcare provider may discover it during a physical exam. Your provider may also discover a nodule with an imaging test done for another reason. Even though thyroid nodules are almost always non-cancerous, benign, the small chance that it could be cancer means that most thyroid nodules need some type of evaluation. What tests will be done to diagnose and evaluate thyroid nodules? Your healthcare provider may order any of the following tests to help diagnose and evaluate a thyroid nodule, thyroid blood test, thyroid ultrasound, fine needle biopsy, and thyroid scan. How are thyroid nodules treated? Treatment depends on the type of thyroid nodule. Treatment options include no treatment slash watch and wait, radioactive iodine, and surgery. No treatment slash watch and wait is an option if the nodules aren't cancerous. Radioactive iodine is used to treat hyperfunctioning thyroid nodules and goiters with several nodules. Surgery is the best treatment for nodules that are cancerous, cause obstructive symptoms, and are suspicious. Since researchers don't know what causes the majority of thyroid nodules, you can't prevent them in most cases. You can, however, try to decrease your risk of developing them by managing certain risk factors. For example, if you have obesity, talk to your healthcare provider about attaining a healthy weight for you. If you smoke cigarettes, try to quit. It's also important to make sure you get enough iodine in your diet. If you use iodized table salt, you're likely consuming enough. Studies have shown that people who take oral birth control and or statins may have a reduced risk of developing thyroid nodules. What is the prognosis for thyroid nodules? The prognosis for non-cancerous, benign, thyroid nodules is great. They often don't need treatment, and only about 1% of benign thyroid nodules cause thyroid disease, which is treatable. The prognosis for cancerous, malignant, thyroid nodules varies greatly depending on several factors, including, the type of cancer, your age at diagnosis, the size of the nodule slash tumor, if it's spread to nearby tissues, such as lymph nodes, if it's spread, metastasized, to distant parts of your body. If you have thyroid cancer, your healthcare provider will be able to give you a more accurate prognosis. Sophia's journey with her thyroid nodule underscored the significance of early detection, expert medical guidance, and proactive self-care. Through the support of her compassionate endocrinologist and the healthcare team, Sophia not only navigated the uncertainties surrounding her condition but also emerged stronger and more informed about her health. Sophia's story serves as a reminder of the importance of listening to our bodies, seeking medical attention for unusual symptoms, and actively participating in our healthcare decisions. Her proactive approach to lifestyle changes, including quitting smoking and adopting a healthier routine, contributed to her overall well-being. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms like Sophia's, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional promptly. Regular checkups, early diagnosis, and a collaborative approach to treatment can make a significant difference in managing health conditions effectively.
To stay informed about thyroid health and receive updates on similar health-related topics, consider subscribing to reputable health publications or joining online communities focused on thyroid conditions. Knowledge is a powerful tool in maintaining good health, and staying connected with reliable sources can empower individuals to make informed choices about their well-being. Remember, your health is a priority, and taking proactive steps can lead to a more vibrant and fulfilling life. Subscribe to Health Resources, engage with your healthcare team, and prioritize self-care to ensure you are well-equipped to face any health challenges that may arise.